Lifetime. Now, um, some of you may have heard of Hogwood before. It's one of the biggest UK pig farms and it's come under attack for animal abuse in the past, which the farm owners deny. Well, now a new documentary has followed the animal welfare group Viva going undercover to capture footage from the farm. Hogwood's now streaming on a number of digital platforms and it's been narrated by Game of Thrones actor Jerome Flynn and I spoke to him earlier. I hadn't seen anything quite like this before and it's probably the most upsetting film I've ever seen. Uh, it was hard to, really hard to keep my eyes on the screen but, you know, this is a time where uh, many truths are being exposed and there's, there's gifts that have come with the lockdown. I think it's allowed people to, us to sit back and take stock and uh, start to realise that the, the world and the culture we're in is uh, that there's a lot going on there which we ne didn't necessarily know about. And the way we treat animals, it's been known for a long time, but I, I, I defy anybody to see, this, to see this film and to continue having anything to do with intensive farming. Well, you've investigated, or the film in its part is looking at this one particular farm, Hogwood, and the farmer, yes. the farmer denies mistreatment. And... But just describe to viewers what's in the footage and is this widespread? Well, the, the, um, the situation at Hogwood is it's red tractor approved and, and therein lies the very dark story is that this was a scheme, government-backed, um, uh, created by the Farmers' Union uh, for farmers and it allows inspections to happen much less regularly than normal. So um, there's a cover there, they, and they can get in the, the, their vets to come and inspect, and if they don't like what the vets see and tell them, they get another vet, and this has been, this is witnessed and reported. We've got a, a vet in the film who tells her own story. So what's going on in there is, it's, it, it's just unbelievable, and um, there's pigs... In, in such horrendous conditions, uh, forced together, they're eating each other. I mean, there's, there's, there's scenes of pigs eating each other and they throw out the, um, the diseased and the dying pigs, you know, just out into the um, corridors, the concrete corridors. None of the, I mean, the, the situation for an intensive pig farming is pretty regular. They, the pigs don't get to see the light of day. That in itself... And they, they never feel earth underneath their feet. Uh, they never get to just feel what it is to feel naturally a pig. Pig, pigs. It's been it's been um, now scientifically uh, suggested that pigs have the intelligence of four year old children, and uh, basically they're incarcerated. They don't. They have no joy of being alive and believe you me when you see a pig uh there's, there's footage of a pig released from one of these places uh, and she's set free with her um with her piglets and she's dancing for joy these are these are deeply intelligent emotional beings um and i wouldn't put them above any other any uh farmed animal because all animals have feelings and sensitivities so it's a it's a story that goes wider than hogwood but we're focusing on this because this is government-backed. Um, if anything, it's being incentivized. And um, it took Viva and the investigation team years and hundreds of thousands of people to protest for Tesco and for Red Tractor, uh, which is supposed to be some kind of approved welfare. But what's been proved uh, is it's the opposite. It's, it's just a shadow for these disgusting practices. It's been good to talk to you, but I can't let you go without asking one question about Game of Thrones, can I? You can, you can have a go. <laughs> you, you gained, it was worldwide fame, wasn't it, from, from the much-loved rogue Sabron of the Blackwater. Did you think your character would make it to the end without being killed off, which is quite an achievement, and what did you think of the ending? <laughs> oh, so much there. Um, well, I didn't count it as an achievement. Um, I put it uh, myself personally. I didn't take it too personally, except I, I was. It was nice to be there at the end. 
I think his bronze sense of humour um, and the fact that he didn't stand a chance of getting on the throne is probably what get him, got him through to the end um, and his wily uh, ambition. But um, it was nice to be there. I, I think I probably... I was up for having a bit of a heroic, uh, heroic death, saving Tyrion's life in, in the big battle, but that didn't happen. Um, it was lovely to be involved. Well, that was um, Jerome Flynn. Now, we did try to get in touch with the farm owners, but we haven't heard back from them. They've previously denied any claims of animal abuse. A red tractor, which is one of the UK's biggest food standard schemes, told us it carried out an investigation into Hogwood and confirmed that the farm is no longer part of the red tractor scheme. And we asked for a statement from the Department for the Environment, uh, Food and Rural Affairs. They have yet to send that to us. Uh, drive time with John Beattie. Thank you for your company. Let's get some sport now from John Barnes.